Namaskara. My name is Dr. Harihar Murthy. I have got about three decades of experience practicing as an ENT specialist in Bangalore. The ear infections can be caused at different sites of the ear, the external ear, the middle ear very commonly and rarely in the internal ear, the inner ear as it is. Pain is a very common feature of infections of the external ear. Fullness and drop in hearing may also be associated in external ear infections. The middle ear infections start off with fullness, pain which can vary from mild, moderate, dull pain to intense, sharp, lancinating pain as well as drop in the level of hearing to the extent of about 50% in some severe cases. Infections which cause a perforation in the eardrum can cause more significant hearing loss as well as discharge. So a patient who comes with discharge commonly has got an infection of the middle ear. Giddiness is a problem that may be associated with infections in the inner ear, especially after infections spread from other sites. Other than that, the patient can have loss of hearing. Infections of the ear can be divided into external ear, the middle ear and the, and the inner ear. Infections of the external ear predominantly will cause pain, sometimes in the case of infections causing severe swelling or pustules, you can also have a drop in hearing. In the middle ear, the infections invariably will cause blockage of the ear to start with followed by pain and sometimes it can be dull, sometimes excruciating, lancinating pain. Now, drop in hearing is a very common feature and it can range from between 20 decibels to up to 50 decibels sometimes. Perforation will always be associated, perforation of the eardrum will always be associated with ear discharge. The inner ear infections invariably will have drop in hearing as well as giddiness and sometimes tinnitus.